you will die. The five old gods of Azeroth rarely work together, instead exerting their power individually, often warring amongst themselves, and rarely forming alliances with one another. When the Titans fought the old gods, some believe they only prevailed due to their united front against the divided forces of the old gods. As such, each of the old gods carry their own unique history and influence throughout Azeroth's many millennia of conflict. And the first old god to become a modern threat to Azeroth was the freshly awoken god, Cthune. Cthune was the old god presumed slain by the sole titan warrior in the land that would become Silithus. There it slept for centuries, biding its time, planning its revenge. During its patient rest, it began to assimilate the insectoid creatures that called the area home. It is believed by scholars within the Warcraft universe, namely the well-known Bran Bronzebeard, that when the old gods ruled Azeroth, they created the race of Akir. The Akir lived in their civilization of Azhakir, which warred often with the two major troll empires, the Gurubashi and the Amani. The Akir were eventually broken, their members fleeing to lands that would one day become Silithus, Northrend, and Pandaria. It was those that fled to Silithus that came under the scrutiny of Cthulhu. The Akir who first arrived in Silithus had quickly conquered an ancient Titan research facility, the very same facility where Cthulhu had found refuge beneath. The old god shaped the Akir to his will, birthing from them the intelligent race of the Karaji and the overwhelming tide of Silithid. This research facility, redubbed the Great Kingdom on Karaj, would become their home, and it would be there that their forces grew, waiting for the day they could exact revenge on the trolls. Once their power was deemed mighty enough for a decisive victory, Cthulhu and his Karaji lieutenants unleashed their armies upon the continent of Kalimdor. This time, however, it was not the trolls that stood in their way, but the night elves instead. For months, the elves fought under Commander Fandral Staghelm, consistently being pushed back by the Karaji. The night elves were pushed back into Angoro, which the Karaji found difficult to take as they had Silithus. The night elves eventually held their ground on the borders of Angoro and Teneris. Fandral requested the aid of the nearby bronze dragonflight, and was initially denied. The Kiraji made a fatal mistake, however, and attacked the Caverns of Time. Anacronos, son and heir to Nosdormu, led the forces of the bronze dragonflight to fight side by side with the night elves, and eventually called on the other remaining dragonflights for assistance. Through a grueling battle, they beat the Kiraji back to their kingdom. Marithra, Kaelstras and Aragos, along with some elvish companions, continued the push into the city, buying time for a barrier to be erected. In a great display of effort, the night elf priestesses and druids, alongside the remaining dragons, erected the enormous scarab wall to contain the menace of the Karaji. Anacronos, foreseeing the need to one day venture into the city, created a gong and a scepter. Should the gong ever be rung by the scepter, the barrier would fall and the forces of the Karaji would be unleashed once more. The war, known as the War of the Shifting Sands, was fought and won without knowing that an old god was behind the scene. Once more, Cthulhu waited patiently. Fortunately, a thousand years later, the races of Azeroth recognized the threat that the seemingly dormant Ankaraj posed was anything but contained. Rumors surfaced of an old god residing in the city. The scepter of the Shifting Sands was rebuilt, the gong was rung by the night elf Shiromar, and the gates were opened. The heroes of Azeroth, the millions of players of the MMO, assaulted the ruins and the temple of Ankaraj, and found Cthulhu in his chamber deep beneath the sands. There, they witnessed the horror that is an old god. Cthulhu's body is a fleshy wall inset with shifting eyes, topped with horrible teeth, and sporting hideous mouths and undulating tentacles. It is surrounded by a pool of utter darkness and a writhing sea of more tentacles tipped with claws and their own malicious eyes, waiting to zap anyone foolish enough to draw near. Those unfortunate enough to be swallowed by the old god will face a stomach lined with burning acids and, again, 
more tentacles. And hidden within the wall of fleshy horrors is one massive, lidless eye, reminiscent of the Eye of Sauron, and bearing a similar, penetrating gaze to drive any mortal mad. This is his form visible above the floors of the Karaji Temple. His body possibly stretches far beneath the surface, stretching a vast radius under the surface of Azeroth. This likely also extends his sphere of influence far beyond the arid sands of Silithus. Cthun was defeated by Azeroth's heroes, but not killed, and may be becoming active once more. The ogre and Twilight Hammer cultist Cho'Gal made an attempt at resurrecting Cthun's body, but was stopped by the guardian of Tirisfall, Medan. More recently, a quest overhaul of Silithus, with many quests concerning Cthun, was added in the PTR for patch 4.1.0, but never made it into the full game. It is even possible that Cthun had some subtle influence on the events that took place in the Twilight Highlands surrounding the Twilight Hammer Cult. It seems clear, at any rate, that the developers are not done with this particular Old God. It would be easy to underestimate the danger the Old Gods posed to Azeroth when considering Cthun's demise at the hands of a small band of mortals, but one must keep in mind that Cthun was severely weakened many ages ago by the Titans, and entrapped within Ankaraj by the Scarab Wall. Most likely, Cthun was displaying an infinitesimal fraction of its true power. A fully powered Cthun would truly be a force to thoroughly fear. In the next video, we will turn our attentions north to the old god imprisoned under the peaks of Northrend, the fiend of a thousand faces, the beast with a thousand maws, Yogg-Saron. You will die.